Good afternoon, everybody. I just wanted to come in really briefly. Um, you all know that I'm on this journey of this journey for my life and just being who God has designed me to be and just, you know, trying to understand myself and my life and, and, and work towards my goals. And every time I get something, I, a revelation, I want to post. And so um, I've had a revelation and I just wanted to share it with you all. Um, the other day I, I sat back and I was thinking about my life. And um, for those of you who don't know, I had my daughter when I was 16 years old. Um, the whole show, 16 and pregnant, that was me, 16 and pregnant. But one of my biggest things um, when... After I had my daughter, is that I didn't want to be a statistic. You know, the the worst thing in the world for me was to to have to be a statistic. I did not want to receive food stamps, and God knows I did not want to live in a project. That was what I would say all the time. I don't want that to be a part of my testimony. I don't want that to be a part of my story. And so, because of that, I made some choices, some good and some bad. Um, you know, based on that theory. Um, God has a way of of taking the same thing that you're running from. And, and, and smacking you right in the face with it and making you face it. As much as I tried not to receive food stamps and as much as I didn't want to live in a project because that is not what I wanted my kids to experience, it ended up, it, I had no choice. I had to. And now that I look back at it and I think, well, you know, why did that, why did that have to, why is that a part of my testimony? Because it had to be. And sometimes in life, in order for us to be who God has designed us to be, well, all the time in life, in order for us to be who God has designed us to be, we have to go through some things. Everything you go through is not necessarily all about you, but it's, it, you know, it's used for your testimony because he's going to bring you through it. And then once he brings you through it, you can use it to help other people. What am I saying? I am a social service worker. That is what I do. I enjoy working with other people, helping them get connected to resources, and, and just helping them live a full life. A part of my job is to connect them to those resources. I don't know about the resources because I heard it from somebody else. Everything I know is through experience. You know, I can't tell, you know, it's 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 one thing to be able to tell somebody what you heard, and it's one thing to be able to tell them what you know. And I am able to talk to people and tell them what I know, and what I know is that the reason I had to receive food stamps and the reason I had to live in the project, the reason that I, I've been through the things that I've been through is so that I can help other people. So what I'm saying to you is the same thing that you're running from, the same thing that you don't want to face is what is going to be your testimony to somebody else. That is what is going to bring you through. You know, we all have a past and we, you know, we're not all happy about some of the choices we've made in the past, but they are our choices. Period. And they are things that you've done. Don't be ashamed and live with regrets for things that you've done. Because that doesn't help. It doesn't help you and it's not helping anybody. Own up to what you've done. You know, if you've, if you've hurt some people in the past, make amends and say you're sorry and move on. You know, if if you, you're running from something, face it. Because facing it is what is going to be your testimony in the end. So what I'm learning about myself is... I'll have a lot of life experiences and a lot of things that I've experienced that I am just now starting to see how and why I had to experience those things. And that is because I could not be who God has designed me to be without experiencing those things. If I did not go through the things that I went through, if I did not, if I was not in the situations that I was in, then I would not be able to be who God has called me to be. And that is ultimately what our life is about. Living the purpose-filled life, living the life that God would like for you to live. And... He allows you to go through those things, whether we understand it then or not. He allows you to go through those things so that he can bring you through and you can bring somebody else through. So what am I saying to you? Don't let the things that you've been through stop you from being who God has called you to be. Don't be ashamed of who you are. Don't be ashamed of where you've been. Whatever you've done, it's already done and God already knows it. So what you do is take it and you use it as your testimony. Your testimony is what will break through. Your testimony is what will set you apart from everybody else. Your testimony is what is going to help somebody else. Your testimony is what makes you an individual and makes you who you are. Be true to who you are. Period. Be true to who you are. If you've done something and it, 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 it burns your soul and it hurts somebody else, then apologize. That's all. And keep it moving. But be true to who you are. Because being true to who you are is going to help you get to your purpose in God. Being true to who you are is going to be able to help other people. 
So that's all I wanted to say today. Just thinking about, you know, our past and how our past helps us on our journey. I don't even like to call them regrets. I like to call them life experiences, both good and bad life experiences. And we all have life experiences. Use your life experiences to, to help you move to as your testimony. Use your life experiences to help you be who God has designed you to be. Look at everything you've been through and ask God, what is he trying to show you? And once you see what he's trying to show you, then you'll start reaching your purpose. Have a good evening.